Kaylee Humphreys, congratulations. Uh, winning races in St. Moritz doesn't get old, does it? It doesn't. I mean, this is the birthplace of the sport, so it's always a great day when you get to be out here. The weather's gorgeous. Um, the track is super fun. And overall, yeah, it's, this is a great place to end the World Cup monobob series. Talk to me about driving a monobob on an artificial track, and then you come to the natural ice here. It's a little yes. slipperier here? It is definitely slipperier. Funny enough, we compete on ice, and it's slippery. But overall, the more sleds that run over it, because it is all natural, the slicker it gets. Um, and so because the balance point in a monobob, where we sit is in the center, we don't have you know a front and a back person. When you go to steer, the back of the sled will pick up or fall away, especially the slicker the ice gets. So when it's a bit of grippy, you're good, kind of like driving with snow tires. Um, but as soon as a bunch of sleds have run over it, that back end of the sled wants to just break away super easy. And it definitely is a little bit sketchy to drive. So you just have to be prepared for that. Um, it's different than two men, different than four men. And so it definitely, you know, takes a different type of skill. But overall, it's, it's great to be challenged. It's great to have the opportunity that Monobob provides, giving women a second event. So we're going to China. <clears throat> China, like uh, St. Moritz, a long 1,600-meter track. Is it similar in the fact that the start isn't as important on this track as it is on most? Is there a lot of similarity between the China track and here because it's so long? Um, I think the only similarity is the length. Uh, definitely the longer the track, the more the driving type of pilots. Um, the pilots that are used to or have a really good driving skill have time to kind of make it up. So yeah, uh, the start is not quite as critical. At the end of the day though, you know, when you've got the young people up and coming, such as Laura Nolte, and you've got Alana pushing crazy fast times, um, they know how to drive. And so you really have to be on your game for both. You can't relax at the start. You have to be there, but you also have to drive well. Um, the track itself, though, nothing like China. <laughs> nothing like China at all. Um, but overall, the length is there, which will be really exciting for up and coming. So you'll get to see hopefully some really great starts. It'll make for some great racing and then some really great drives. Thank you. Of course. Congratulations. Thank you.